Oh, hey, look, it's a brief filler video. I've heard about these. But the thing about this filler video is that I'm going to actually play a game while I fill space. This is Minecraft Wii U Edition using the Mario skin pack, and I've been playing. I appear to be getting shot at by a skeleton. Anyway, skeleton aside, this is Minecraft Wii U Edition, the Mario mashup pack, where everything has been changed to be Mario themed. I've been playing this game with my brother for quite some time. Uh, we've been building in this world for a while. Not as long as the PC version, but, you know, this is my house. No, it doesn't look, like, impressive or look good or anything like that, but I built it the way I wanted, and I think that's what matters. I really like the pokies leading up to it. I love the way everything looks in this mashup pack. I think it looks much better than the default Minecraft stuff. Like, a lot better. Anyway, this is the base, uh, not the basement floor, I guess, but the living room, and up here, we have the important stuff. My farm is up here, my chests are up here, and there's a glass ceiling that doesn't quite cover everything because it doesn't need to. The farm ensures I will never run out of bread ever, ever, ever. I just have an infinite supply of bread, because that's how this works. Quite handy having a farm inside your house. And over here, we have all of my chests. And they are labeled in such a way that my brain can easily parse them. We have food, which is much too big. Chest for food is much too big. Maybe you want to switch that chest with the tools chest, because there's no way I would ever have this much food. And, he, and there are the tools and dirt and plants. You'll see the plants are based on Mario power-ups, which I think is really adorable. I quite like that. I like the Mario texture pack in general. There's wood. Wood is a very valuable resource in all versions of Minecraft. And there are building blocks. Again, maybe not the most, uh, com uh, let's, coherent labeling system, but it helps my brain remember where everything is, me personally. So that's pretty much all there is to this house. I know it doesn't look like much, but it took a really long time to make, get the right blocks and make it just the way I wanted. Down here is the mine, which isn't really part of the house, but it's useful to have a mine really nearby. I know some people prefer more methodical approach to mining. I just mine in every which direction until I find something interesting. It's kind of chaotic, but I really like it because I feel like there's a greater chance of just stumbling onto some random cave or something super interesting that way. But uh, yeah, that's my house. Of course, we've been working on more than just that. And if I leave the house, I can show you what I've currently been working on. Not a bad little place. So right across from my house, you can see what I've been working on over there. I'm trying to colonize that mountain the inside of the mountain, but before I do that, I wanted to build a pathway to the mountain. And as you're about to see, the pathway is not uh, exactly finished. I'm planning to put a glass floor in here to lead to the entrance over there. And I think that'll look real nice when it's done. But it's not, so that's what I'm currently working on. And uh, something I just remembered, I think over in this uh, general direction, there's our nether portal. And I worked really hard to make the nether portal look interesting and unique by building it uh, with a mushroom ceiling. It's around here somewhere. So it kind of, yeah, right over here. So it kind of looks like a mushroom house. You'll see the top is made out of mushroom. And I shaped it in just the right way. So that way it looks like a mushroom house. And I'm really proud of the blocks I used. I think it makes it look super good. But yeah, the inside of this place is where our nether portal is located. So that's pretty cool. And that's all the stuff I built for now, personally. I know it may not seem like a lot, but it took a really long time to build these things the way I wanted to build them. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the biggest features of the console versions of Minecraft is couch co-op, so I might as well show that off while we're here.